Viewers, hello there. Welcome back to more Glory Hunter with Little Twinchy FM. Good to see you. Hope I find you very, very well. Now, listen up. One major issue with my Glory Hunter save, unfortunately for me, uh, when I go to my history, it's it's all there. But all my player histories have gone, and I, I and I don't know why. I don't know if they'll come back at the end of the season. Maybe after like a bit of a, a rejig. But yeah, all of the player histories of all of the players that I have in this side. In fact, are they gone for all? That now I'm sorry to bring you this breaking sad news, viewers. Um. For example, oh no, no, I'll tell you who I want to know about, viewers. Diego, has he lost his history as well? Brilliant. So where have they gone? Where have the histories gone, viewers? If anybody knows a fix, please tell me the fix. All the histories have gone, and I miss them dearly. It makes buying players next season really difficult. If I don't know what they've done previously, or how much they will... It's a disaster, viewers, is what it is. Do they have biographies, though? That's something, actually. Do they have the biography? So yeah, so it knows that bit. So it knows the... Right, okay. So yeah, breaking, heartbreaking news viewers. Welcome back. Uh, let's take a look then at what's happened since we last met. And we're winning games that some of them I don't really want to win. As you can see today, I'm going to play Nims and I'm going to play Lil. I've got Liverpool in between that. A team I don't really want to have to face, but I thought the two league games uh, in between, they're the ones that matter. As you can see, our form since the Vafsi result has continued to be very, very good. A 40 win over Dijon Mustard. Uh, we beat Real Sociedad 4-2 as well. Monaco beat on 1-0 in a really tight game actually uh, against Sociedad beaten in the Europa League. And then a 4-0 win recently for Bordeaux. Really, really impressive. Arthur Ruiz is having one hell of a... I can't believe how well he's playing. It's a bit weird. Um, we, we got him for free. Uh, he's had one season in his life, and this is it, viewers. I know, it's a look at it. 7.73. You can't compare how bad he was previously to this now. It's amazing. So, team-wise for this one, then, let's take a look at it. We've got a bit of a change-up, really. Emmanuel's not going to start the game, as Ortiz in recent games has been playing really well. You can see his average in the last five games, 7.56. Very, very impressive. Slightly better than Emmanuel's, who's been playing a mixture of sort of right out... Uh, on the right uh, and up front. Uh, Ruiz Byrne and Ludwig behind him. Lejeune and Mahaz are going to be there at the back. A little bit of a change up because we've got a few injuries. Uh, Arnidas and Lucas can't play so Inzaghi and Hernandez comes in. Uh, Shelton, Goni, Kalasa in goal and uh, here we go. You can see the defence has got slightly weaker against Nims but hopefully the boys will be back for the next game against Lille because that's going to be so tougher. I say that actually. Nims seventh so this could be quite a challenge. So we've not lost a game in ages. We've lost two games all season and you've seen recently we've just been blitzing through sides whether it be Paris Saint-Germain or anyone. It's been really Really good fun. So they're playing the identical formation that we are. Hopefully, it won't matter too much. Hopefully, we can just go do the business, get goals, get a performance in. Because as things stand right now, we are getting closer. PSG, I should have, I should have probably brought this up, viewers. Looking at the league table, we've got, we've got the game in hand that we're playing right now on PSG. They've recently lost uh, a game. It was a while ago now, as we can probably find it here somewhere. Yeah, they lost to Leon 1-0, uh, which puts us a little bit closer. Win today. We still have to play them, remember. So we could... We could win the league. All right, first chance in the game, and it goes to the red of Nims. It probably isn't said Nims. That's probably Nimes, maybe? Nims? Nims, probably. I bet it's Nims. I don't know. Anyone from Nims, Nims, Nims? Uh, let me know. Shout them with a good tackle, but straight back to them, actually. As I uh, say, first highlight, going their way. They're looking a bit dangerous as well. They've hit the post, and Goni puts it on, uh, out for a corner because he knows that's safe. He knows the corners come to nothing, viewers. I just cup of tea I'm not bothered viewers not, it's, it's a corner why would I be bothered so this game today actually is pretty big because it gives us opportunity to take advantage of the mess that PSG are making at the back end of the season we've drawn so many more games than them but those two defeats to their four defeats you can see a few teams have lost four uh, Leon in there as well but it's definitely become a battle of two now it's ourselves and PSG an episode in the future. Tomorrow will be the French Cup final. Uh, but then at the end of the season, of course, we've got those three games. I could complete the international section of Glory Hunter a little bit early, which means me leave me sitting here thinking, what what I what I do next season? No international teams have offered me anything. I say all of this, viewers. We are still nil-nil with names, and I'm gonna get aggressive with them. Far from pleased, we should be doing far better than this. I mean, none of the boys seem to be playing very well. Uh, Ortiz is gonna come off, Emmanuel's gonna come straight on. And in fact, you know what? Akita's coming on for burn as well. Looks looks this interested get him off then mix it up we'll go back uh, we'll go positive, uh, positive as well see if he can get the breakthrough that we all importantly need and then we've got Lil coming up they're on 61 as are three other teams I'm so pleased not to be in has that got in you are joking it's got in posting in and for the first time in a long time we find ourselves behind and in trouble oh no viewers this is not what we wanted at all Garcia it's a great first touch but just goes round shouting like he's not even there and the shot it bounces on the line but it does find its way in and we're a goal behind. Okay, the boys are going to start picking this up a little bit. Ludwig's having 
a pretty poor game. You know, all three attackers are coming off. They've had a, they've done nothing all game. Chalmecki's going to come on on the left hand side. As uh, I think we have to start playing that a little bit quicker. Start working it into the box though. Let's get Emmanuel some chances and see if we can find a way back in. We've got a free kick very very deep in our half, and it's whether we can keep the ball, work it forward. Well, regardless of that, and Zaghi finds Emmanuel. He's in on goal. He should probably score. We've got some nice depth in the side. The fact I can take off my three attackers actually bring on three players that. Don't make us significantly weaker, just a little bit weaker, but still pretty good. It's quite comforting, really. It definitely isn't an area that I need to improve next season if, obviously, we don't complete the challenge of the French League this year. Defensively next season, we're going to have to have a little bit of a change around. I think if Shelton starts for me next season, that's a bit of a problem. Come on, boss! I said if Shelton starts, we're going to be great next season. Oh, cheers, boss! Yeah, he needs to, he needs to be third choice, really, if we're going to be honest. Yeah. 18 minutes left to go. And we need something of a spectacular turnaround here. And so far, it doesn't seem as if it's coming in. If there's a likely goal scorer of this next goal, it doesn't look like us, does it? Let's face it. Nims, Nimes, Nimes. They're not doing brilliantly so far. They're having a pretty average game. <laughs> they go close again. I feel like maybe tactically we need to switch something. I'm going to put Chukameki up there alongside. See if that's a difference maker. And um, I don't know if we should try and move someone else on. I've made Mahal more of a box to box. It should help him sort of be part of both defence and attack a little bit more rather than being the Mazala, where you're tending to look forward more and more. Hopefully, he won't take as much space in Ruiz's areas now as well. So, that might give us an opportunity to try and create something with that little bit more space for some of our creative players. That's going to be the goal here. As uh, once again, though, we find ourselves on the receiving end of an attack. But here we are, Ruiz. Oh, here we are. Ruiz in so much space now. Big chance. What a goal. It's unbelievable, viewers. I mean, five minutes to go. We can still win this. Come on, boys. It's a great finish from Ruiz. The amount of times I've seen him do that exact thing. It's such a rarity on Football Manager. I've not had a right winger be like this. I think of the right wingers I've had in the past, or even left wingers. The clinical nature of him with 10 finishing is bizarre. I absolutely love it. Now, is there another goal for us? As they're looking a little bit uninterested. There's four minutes left to go. Is there something I can do more here to try and force this to happen? I, I don't know if there is. I'm going to push the wing backs forward, though. I'm going to go for this a little bit more. Try and pressure them back if we can. There's not that much time left. A point here is poor, really. They're seventh, but that's a waste. That's a huge waste. Not good enough. We should have been winning that one. Little to come. Liverpool in between, of course. And you can see then four points to the gap, which is just not enough. It's just not enough. Okay, so... Uh, a setback. We're good to get a point now. I mean, that, that might prove to be pivotal come the end of the season, but I don't want to look back at the very end of the season, look at this game and think we should not have dropped points, especially if we end up a point behind them if we beat PSG on the final day. Oh, I feel sick, viewers. They should pay PSG away from home. Anyway, next game coming up uh, is going to be Lille. As I said, I've got Liverpool in between, so I'll see you in just a moment. All right, so we've played Liverpool. 1-0 defeat. Not great, but um, yeah, we've now got, uh, let's say, Lille coming up. Before that, though, PSG play Nice. So let's find out how they do in that one. We're a continue away, I think, from finding out. Here we go. Can uh, Nice do me a big favour or... <laughs> Sorry, I didn't laugh. They've not done me a big favour. They've been smashed. They've been absolutely smashed, which makes me realise that when I beat them so handedly, it might have been a fluke. I don't know. All right, anyway, Lille coming up. Um, <laughs> that's funny, though. So I'm going to risk him. I think we have to probably risk him. All right then, viewers. Welcome back. Here we go then. Into it we are. As uh, Colasa will be in goal for this game against Lille. We've got Goni, Shelton, Ionidis and Lucas back. Uh, Lucas has to play really. There's a suspension to Anzagi, so he can't feature. Neither can Ruiz, the man that I'm talking about so often and have fallen in love with. He can't play. So Emmanuel comes in on the right-hand side. Shuklameki is going to go uh, through the middle for us today. Ludwig on the left-hand side. Akiza, Lejeune and Manoz are going to be in there. Burns been a little bit off the ball recently. I think Akiza's got that little X factor sometimes and I obviously know what he's capable of. So he's going to play in there. Uh, Mahoz is about the, I, I want to show you this. He's going back to the box to box with Fielder. We changed it up for Yanchev, you might remember, but he's going back now to what he knows best. As, uh, yeah, we're in situations where we can't afford to lose league games. The last game we've just had, the 1-1, one -one, not good enough. We've got to bounce back right here, right now. Uh, they're playing uh, basically a deeper version of our system, so it should give us a little bit of space uh, outside. I've just, I've just clicked the wrong button, viewers. Our assistant's done that. He's all over it. Cheers, mate. I think that's what I did. Is that what I did? I think that's what I did. All right, then. Here we go. I'm not too familiar with any of the... Oh, Fanga. Fanga plays for them, of course. We sold Fanga to Lil. Other than him and maybe the keeper, uh, Dungala, that we've talked about a few times, I don't think I'm familiar with any of their side. I don't think they've got any former players of mine, or there's not too many players that I've even really looked at, to be honest. 
All right then, first chance of the game. Chilomeki is uh, is on that side as he cuts. Well, oh, that's brilliant. He's get past his defender. Great shot as well. Goodness me. F fine finish into the far corner. And uh, you can see so far, 18 minutes gone. Six shots for us. Five on target. And now a goal. And we've kicked this uh, game off superbly well. You can see him on that side. Absolutely mugs off these defenders here. This guy doesn't even know where he is. It's Fanger of all people as well. A former player that we sold, of course, for relatively big money. And a really nice finish. Just passed along the floor almost into the bottom of the, uh, the, the goal. Lovely. Okay. This is good so far. Right, this is much better than what we had before. They're having a lot of the ball, Lil, but they're doing pretty much nothing with it. As Goni has got a bit of a knock on that side. Apparently a bruised ankle, so he can probably continue with that. It's not the end of the world. Uh, Hafidi can play right back if we need to bring him on and play that. I guess we'll see. If he starts getting destroyed by left-wingers, then maybe that'll be a point in which we take him off. But I think we'll keep it the same for now, as we need to get ourselves a goal, another goal, because we've seen... 1-1s can happen, viewers. And I'd rather not have a 1-1. It's, it's a lot difficult, a lot more difficult to, to come back from a 2-0 deficit. As so again, we've, we've mentioned it a minute ago, the possession, they're keeping the ball really well. But are they going to set themselves up for a fall? As Emmanuel, it goes straight to him. He's about 60 yards out. That ball has been missed by the defender. And usually mistakes on football manager lead to events, viewers. As uh, Lucas forward on that side, carrying a bit of an injury himself. Pull it back, can we? Lejeune's there. All the way back out to Lucas. The L's combining on that side, of course. Ball to that post. Emmanuel's there. Then I say, mistakes on football manager. Have you ever noticed that? If, if a defender makes a mistake, ordinarily, they are punished for that mistake. Especially when there's a highlight involved. And we saw it right there. Uh, let's say the L's on the left-hand side. I love the fact they've all got an L in the name. All play on the left. Lucas whips that ball in, and there's Emmanuel, who should be called Romanuel, because it's a, he's on the right. Because that's, that was the joke. Oh, it doesn't work. I just feel like... And I feel like I already know that the, the point to Nims now might end up costing me later down the line. We've been on an amazing run. And again, the unbeaten streak, as things stand, continues. Akiza forces the ball all the way back. Will I regret it? Will I say regret it? Regret what? Like, it's just one of those moments, isn't it? Um... We will regret it, I think, not taking advantage of that game. Starting really slowly. The more I look back at that game, we just took a while to get going in it for whatever reasons. At half time, absolutely dominant against Lil. Uh, we'll take that all day, every day. I guess I'm very happy with the way things are going. 2 0 up, looking good. Uh, Crispin, actually, I was going to say Hafidi can come on, but Crispin, decent little defender. Let's get him in there. God, he's struggling. Why, why risk him? Uh, Crispin plays all our Europa League games, so he's definitely fit and raring to go. To corner to be taken. Mahoz plays it in. It's cleared away at the first time of asking. I need this, though, on that side. Whipped back across to Mahoz. He's got lots of options in the centre, actually. A few unmarked. Emmanuel Chilomeki, it's cleared away. Ludwig's there. Lejeune, that's gone really high. I do really like this side. I, I said it in yesterday's episode or an episode a while ago. This does feel a little Leipzig-esque. Like, it does feel like I'm building a team that's very, very close to being actually really good, but not quite there yet. Uh, defensively, I say definitely need sorting out. It's going to be a big priority for us in the summer. Um, sort of no matter what happens. I don't know. What happens if I do the double this season? I've not really thought about that. I expected to maybe get the French Cup this year because it's, it's gone really, really well. And then the league... Oh, well, that's a great goal. Ludwig there. Kiza, I mentioned he was going to be the key today. Ludwig with the goal. Only five for him so far this season, actually. Not as good as last year, uh, so far at least. I don't know what happens. What's the what's the plan for the final year if we do it? I mean, it's possible. Sure, we're going to need some maybe final day heroics, final episode heroics. But, um, yeah, I know, comment section. What do we do with the final day? Do I go to... See, part of me now thinks that I've, I've figured it out. Do I go to, like, a monster team if it becomes available and try and bring as many of the old boys back together as possible and just have one last hurrah with... Turl, Diego, uh, Gabe in there as well. Like, is that the move? Maybe it is. Literally just shell out an entire team. Like, go to, like, a Manchester City, get rid of all their players for, like, 500 mil, and then just go huge at trying to bring back as many old names as possible and just create, like, my dream. People that said, oh, do you dream 11? Well, yeah, I could just do that within that, couldn't I? And that, that's annoying, by the way. I mentioned that recently. I was going to do the dream 11, or, like, my, my 11. If I've lost all the historical data... That's a rubbish episode because it's like, they were good. Do you not remember? No, neither do I really. I'm really hoping that data exists within the game somewhere and we can bring it back. Otherwise, this is quite heartbreaking. It really is. Okay, anyone got a fix? Let me know. As it's 4-0, by the way, against what's supposed to be a bit of a challenger. They were last season. We were very evenly matched to the likes of Leon, Lil. Monaco, by the way, have had a terrible season. We beat them 1-0 in between episodes. They are having a woeful year in sick, it feels like, compared to what they've done previously. They've been challenges, remember, before. They're not a side that were battling for the top three places. Worth noting as well, by the way, with not that many games to go, we are almost certainly 
in the Champions League next season. So no matter what happens, I've mentioned this phrase all the time, the clientele of play that we can bring in has gone up a level. So that's really good news. As uh, we're forward again, we could make it five. Chilameki goes for it. I probably could have made a change here, but I've sort of enjoyed the 4-0 and been chatting my way with you. But this is good then. Um, I'm going to say early viewers, if you enjoyed today, drop a like on it. You, you guys are still, as I say, we're, I understand that it's quite a difficult series to pick up now because we are over 200 episodes in and we're coming towards the end of the challenge. And I've technically failed the challenge, but you guys that are sticking with me to see the conclusion Conclusion. I really do appreciate it. Of course, there's going to be some time um, between now and the end of uh, end of this game cycle before FM21. There is a baby involved in all of this. Uh, I've got loads of ideas planned for doing stuff with some other creators as well. Uh, some draft mode related things that are going on. Of course, we've been doing the streamer showdown, but we've, been, we've done draft modes on this channel for years. So bring a few of those back, uh, as well as a few other little bits and pieces that I've got planned as well. We might be entering the world of bizarre, stupid experiments very soon as well. So that might be something you'll... you'll Enjoy watching me mess about with. I'll put it that way. As uh, four nil, sensational. Uh, and again, thank you for watching, gang. I mean, I mean, sometimes uh, it does feel like these series go on forever, but it does seem to have flown by. Glory Hunter this season a little bit. So thank you. I say once again, thank you for sticking with it. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Let's take a look at the final league table as we can uh, investigate here. Then what is our situation? We are four points behind Paris Saint Germain with six games to go. We have the top goal scorer, the top assist maker. Up there in terms of clean sheets as well with Colasa. Actually, I don't know it's there. Uh, Leon and PSG keepers dominant in that actually respect. But, okay. Still a job to do. Uh, let's take a look at the fixtures briefly as well. What have we got coming up then? Um, aside from the game against Liverpool, which is less important, we'll probably team a Ligue 1 fixture. I think we mentioned it Montpellier and Vafsi. Ren and Nantes, I think, are going to be pretty routine games. They're actually decent mid-table sides. That could be a stumbling block. I guess we'll see what goes on. Um, but it should be exciting. I'll see you for the French Cup final tomorrow then. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, I say drop a like on it. Want to see some more? Make sure you subscribe. And I'll see you again very, very soon. We love with care. With the next time, goodbye. Did you hear all that? It was almost one word.